Hi guys, uh, welcome again, uh, Maswat. And this time I'm going to review uh, the movie Unbroken by directed by Angelina Jolie. Um, the movie Unbroken is about um, Louis Zamperini, who is very famous uh, American. And uh, I know about this movie since I think earlier last year. And it was supposed to be released in Christmas, this last Christmas 2014, but it arrived in Malaysia recently, so I apologize if it's a bit late. Anyway, uh, I saw the movie and this is my review. Like I said, uh, the movie is about Louis Zamperini, who is a um, survivor um, of the World War II uh, Olympic athlete and also a positive speaker he speaks uh, about forgiveness and uh, and uh, he's an inspire inspirational figure in america um and that's basically the plot of the movie is about um who he is and what he went through um during the war okay so that's about the pronopsis and what do I think about the movie? Well, I'm um, I'm a bit torn about the movie. Um, this is Angelina Jolie, uh, second movie, and um, I'm a bit torn about the movie. But as usual, let me start with the good things. Uh, the good thing about this movie is that when I came out of the theater, it even while I was watching it, it made me think about the cruelty of uh, torturing uh, people in prison, uh, prisoners of war. Um, you know, I, I find the message that hit me and stayed with me was how cruel it is to, to torture prisoners. And that's the one, the major positive thing about this movie. If Angelina Jolie wanted that to come across and she is successful and however if the movie is trying to talk about Louis Zamperini and uh, what he did you know as a spoke uh, in a positive as a positive person then I would say that um, the movie has problems and uh, didn't reach the objective in that respect uh, I myself, uh, my, I have read about this Louis Zamperini and that's why I can make some, I can point out what Angelina got and got it right and got it wrong about Louis Zamperini. Okay, f that's the first time, first thing is, uh, the good thing I said earlier is a message of anti-war, anti-torture, anti uh, I think that's good, I think that's a message, but however, this movie is not it doesn't tell you really about Louis Zamperini I mean his positive outlook I mean what he did he became famous because he is a post is a positive speaker he talks about very positive thing but I mean those things happens I mean really bloom uh, after the war I'm not saying that this is a fake account it's quite okay but you know, you, uh, it stopped very abruptly. The movie stopped very abruptly. Uh, stop where the story of Louis Zumperini should begin. It stopped there. I will, I will elaborate deeper. So I say, let me just start get straight into the, what I think, what I didn't like about the movie. Alright. Um, before the movie came out, there was a B roll of this movie. B roll is. Um, B role is um, um, the making of the interviews behind the scene and um, whatever that happened that comes out on YouTube about this movie and they, I think it was from her company they interviewed Angelina Jolie how she decide on the story how she decide on the actors and it's like a good B role and here's the point that I want to say as I I think I think the movie has problem because the visual, the visual in that bureau where they interviewed Angelina Jolie and she was talking about the whole scene about the what, what goes on behind the scenes. That visual 
was more natural and more beautiful than the visual they end up in the cinema. Well, I don't know about uh, how they choose the that who the photographer, I mean, cinematographer and whatnot. But I was surprised that I was expecting that same quality, but I didn't get that. I didn't get it was too bright. It was too soft and bright and really didn't it was it was i was taken out of it because i saw the making of has better visual uh, so that's one big thing about the movie that I, I i was thinking like okay that's bad uh the second huge huge thing about this uh the bad thing about this movie is i have this feeling that the movie has so many unnecessary scenes unnecessary scenes um I can just mention out of my, I mean I can mention a few uh, one is the scene where he's running Louis Zamperini is running on the island which completely if you take that out of the of the movie it wouldn't uh, make the movie yeah, it wouldn't add anything you wouldn't lose anything because I think it was unnecessary uh, the torture scene the scene at the prison camp Louis Zamperini end up in two prison camps there were a lot of scenes that were unnecessary uh, like the there was a torture scene at the end of the of the movie where it was completely um, too dramatic. Maybe it happened in real life, but you know it was just torture porn. Oh, that's another point. This, the movie has so many, many, so many torture torture scenes, which I think were was unnecessary, and I mean was cruel but unnecessary i mean if it's this, this guy said earlier if this movie is about the hardship of uh, the bad thing about torturing prisoners of war then angelina jolie did it but if this movie is about louis zamperini then the, a lot of torture scenes doesn't help her case because she doesn't explore what Louis Zamperini did to survive the war. It only shows that Louis Zamperini uh, got tortured, got hit, and then he just be patient about it and nothing nothing else. You know, he, and then the process repeats. He got tortured and he just patience and that's it. But uh, knowing the story of Louis Zamperini, how he survived the war, it wasn't that as, as easy as and what Angelina portrayed on the screen. It was more of how he kept himself in sanity. How he kept himself sane was by sharing, um, you know, Louis Zamperini was sharing recipes at the camp. He was trying to keep his mind sane and he was like a goof, goofball. Uh, that's why the prison camp, prison, uh, Japanese prisoner, I mean prison camp, torture the guy because he's a goofball but in this movie they made him like his toy he's uh, uh, super strong and patient and just take it it take it all in uh, which is bad which is uh, not that's not Louis Zamperini uh, she did understand that Louis Zamperini shared the recipes but she put those scenes in the shipwreck scene uh, his his plane was shipwrecked in the ocean and he was talking about uh, recipes and etc. just to keep him sane. But he that scene I think was misplaced. And that's it again, unnecessary scenes. I will tell you why a lot of those scenes are unnecessary in a bit. I was just elaborating on on this weird focus on her to focus on the prison on the torture at the prison camp rather than what Louis Zamperini did. So if she had take put those scenes where Louis Zamperini was being a goofball, which he was, you know, in a in a book that I read about him, was just being a goofball. He was not heroic. That's why they tortured him a lot because the guy is like a character in the movie. There's a character in the movie that is called his name is called Tinker, which is a wisecrack and a bit funny. But uh, it wasn't explored. The character wasn't explored. But you have this kind of characters that make fun, that make jokes. That's Louis Zamperini. That's how he keeps himself sane by talking about recipes and blah blah blah. But at the end, he became the target of the prison, uh, the prison warden and stuff like that. He got tortured a lot. And like I said, those scenes, 
if he showed them if Angelina Jolie showed the two character and in the in the prison scene it would be better it would show people how and what Louis Zamperini did to survive during the harsh time instead of just showing torture scene and him taking it in stoically it's not isn't it it's not that uh correct not that exactly correct um okay so that's really because i read the book so i was thinking like okay that's a bit off and the focus on torture and not on how he survived the torture was you know was was glossed over uh there were like i said earlier there was a lot of unnecessary scenes like i said there was a, a, a scene on a ship ship uh they were ship right not ship right the plane crashed down so they was they were stuck on the lifeboat in the middle of the ocean that's those scenes was so long was so long and it created as a as a uh as a storyline as a storyline about his relationship with his two people on the boat relationship with a phil one of the character on the boat is phil um yeah they were that is another criticism about the movie. There were so too many stories to tell. They wanted to tell. Angelina Jolie had so many stories to tell. She wanted to tell about the shipwreck, uh, the 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 Olympics um, part of his life, the when his childhood, the Olympic part, uh, the war, the war, and his relationship with Phil on the boat and uh, subsequently tortured, tortured scene to with Phil, and then with a, a, a Mer american gen american commander on the prison camp and then there were scenes with the japanese guy who tortured him there were so many stories to tell i think the the only story part that the angelina managed to convey was his relationship with the with the prison warden that tortured him that was given a lot of time but there were also other characters that were thrown away like tinker uh, like I said, Phil. Phil was like cut short and then it it jumped into another storyline. There were so many stories to tell, that's why I think the mistake. And uh, the ending the ending was abrupt. Like I said, the ending was abrupt. The ending was uh, was off. Was off because beside the abruptness, uh like they tried to tie up the loose ends because they realized it's a story about there's too many stories to tell, so they need to wrap the loose end. So in the end, he showed they they just mentioned in word in text that oh his friends fail survive the war, married somebody. I mean, which like what is that? You never you shouldn't have brought the story of Phil all together and um, the story about um, what happened to him after the war was it's just in text form, text after the movie. And they showed uh, uh, the old, the real version of um, Louis Zamperini running in the long in the marathon in Japan as a goodwill ambassador or something. Uh, yeah, those those bits were. It seems like they were based on because the movie end abruptly and then the screen went black and then the lights in the cinema went on turn on like it was the movies and that and everybody's walking off and then the words just keep coming up on the screen about what happened after the war what happened after the war about this character that character and what Louis Zamperini did after the war it was just in text form and then just a short video of him running in Tokyo so to me that's that's not there's something wrong with that because you sh when you start putting text just to to <laughs> To sum up the movie in text form, that's really bad because they should have end, they should have ended properly. In they should have focused, Angelina Jolie should have focused on how he survived the war, how he rebuilt his his life after the war, and what made him uh, wanted to forgive everybody who tortured him, and that would make a more stronger picture. It might not it might not show a handsome guy because he suffered the war, but it would show more more focused to the story as it is it is if it's a, as an anti-torture movie yes it's good but as everything else i find it too many stories to tell they were telling too many stories they had a bad ending and uh too many torture scenes which i wasn't 
I didn't see the point of the of of those scenes if Angelina Jolie doesn't show what Louis Zamperini did to survive and she mis misplaced some of the scenes like uh like Louis Zamperini was talking about his recipe he's famous for that his famous story was he survived by being a goofball at the prison trying to be a joker not to take anything seriously talking about uh, recipes that his mom makes to keep himself sane and that's those scenes were put on the on the boat on the on the lifeboat and not at all in the prison scenes where we would learn more how he deal with it instead of just taking it and the idea the, they showed that him is as a heroic guy so uh there there was not i mean that was trying to compensate for him i don't know but it was just off and i do understand the criticism why this movie didn't get nominated for best picture because too much story to tell wasn't too much wasn't focused on Louis Zamperini as a, as the person but more on the scenes where he he just went through it and yeah there's a lot of uh, mistakes there about the movie I'm talking a lot but yeah that is my review of Unbroken I hope Angelina Jolie uh, this is not criticism against her I think she's making it a good quality movies but I hope um it has a proper proper start beginning and end instead of telling so many stories and never be able to finish it so that's my review of uh, unbroken thank you so much for watching guys